So on the note of you can make your own choice, I want you to think about the choices that you know you want to make. And you keep telling yourself, like, you can't do it. You can't do it. You don't have this. You don't have that. You don't have the money. Well, you do. You do. And like, don't let yourself fall into this victim mindset of, I don't have the time. I don't have this. Because that is what women are constantly telling themselves. I don't, I don't, I can't, I can't, blah, blah, blah. And so guess what? That becomes our life of, I can't, I don't, I shouldn't, et cetera. You can. And so with my program, Her, that I am bringing out and it's already out right now. So if you missed the, uh, the free masterclass yesterday that I did called Becoming Her, um, the link below, if you click it, you'll be able to get access to it. So that the uh, enrollment closes at the end of March, FYI. And I'm not launching it again this year. It'll only be next year. So this new program, Her, which by the way, is like such a no brainer. The payment plan is like five, 500 and it's like 47 or something a month for two months. It's 999. If you pay in full, it's four weeks all live. It's straight to the fucking point. Absolutely no fluff in the calls. Like I'm giving you zero fucking fluff. Like we're going straight to the dirty business. Um, but what I want to say is like, I've made this a no brainer, super punchy thing because I don't want any of you saying I don't have the time or I can't do this or I can't fit it into my schedule because you can, you just need to give yourself permission to choose the things that are going to bring more into your life. I'm going to say that, going to say that again. You need to start choosing the things that are going to bring more into your life. What are the things that are going to bring more happiness, more love, more health, more time, more space, more relaxation, more expansion? Those are the things that I encourage you to start to put your focus towards because those things are going to reap you major rewards and putting your focus towards those things is going to get you a very high ROI. Only focusing and having this like single focus on your career, right? On proving a point of getting back at somebody, of trying to get validation. It's empty. When you get it, it feels empty. If you can do the things that are going to continuously allow more in every area of your life, you're going to feel full. When we only focus on one area, then what can happen is we can sometimes start to notice bigger spaces in other areas. It's kind of like, when you go to a doctor and you're like, here are all my problems. And they're like, oh, well, I can only answer this one. I don't know about the rest. You just feel shit about the rest, right? And, I'm, and I've am and i always said, like, I'm the everything. Like, you come to me for the period and the trauma and the confidence and the business and the this and the men and the, everything. Because I want you to leave feeling like every bit, like everything that you're struggling with is able to be healed. And everything has an answer because it does, right? So... Many of us stay on this busy train and we do it to ourselves. We stay on this overwhelming mental load and we do it to ourselves because we ram our calendar too full. We don't know how to say no. We don't prioritize slowing down. We don't prioritize intimacy. We don't prioritize intimacy with ourselves and with others. We are lazy. We don't put in the effort to make our lives better and more doable. And to make our lives more uh, less stressful, we don't put in that effort and it requires a little bit of effort. Like, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but you can't just swipe left and all of a sudden have this magical fairy come into your life to fix everything. As hard as it is to hear, you are the reason why your life is so full. You are the reason why you feel like you can't juggle everything. So the only person that's going to get, the only person that's going to get you out of burnout and the overwhelming mental load is you. Now, that can be the bearer of bad news to some, but also can be really empowering. Depends how you see it. To me, that's empowering because it's like, oh, sweet, I can fix this then. You don't need somebody. You don't need to like find the right person to fix it. You can fix it. You're sitting right here. So all this means is that you need to believe that it is worth fixing and that you can fix it. 